This is Brandon with the Kiteboarder Magazine. We're here in uh, Hood River, Oregon at the AWSI trade show and I'm here with Eric Rancho who's going to walk us through um, the entire core uh, line of boards as well as um, carved. Yep. Yeah, so this year, um, same same kind of board lineup. We have the, uh, in the surfboards we have three different models, the 720, the green room, and the ripper. Um, in twin tips, we got the fusion, choice bolt um, for the core boards and then the carved Imperator is the uh, the production um, carbon board made by hand so just kind of looking over at our surfboards here um, starting with the 720 it's kind of our the um, freestyle somewhat oriented board um, kind of shaped to go both ways um, really modeled um, after the uh, the GK freestyle tour kind of took off kind of um, is a board that would fit into that niche. Um, I still ride it also just in the waves and I really like it. Um, really just kind of a, a wider profile, really likes to s stay in the wave power. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, so like small waves, jumps, um, it's really nice doing doing airs and everything. Strapless so, freestyle. Yeah, exactly. Um, then moving into our more traditional shapes, um, we've got our classic ripper, just kind of an all around ripper board, um, pin tail, um, pretty much for your all around, you know, um, pretty much waist to, to head to double head, mm -hmm. um, just all around good surfboard, uh, FCS2 thruster, mm -hmm. um, and then once you get into some really heavier, maybe barreling waves, uh, we have the green room, which is very similar to the uh, the Ripper, but it's just a little bit narrower for that um, more vertical face, so you can um, control the edge into the face more. Um, similar um, pintail shape, same th th three fin thruster. Um, when, yeah. when in terms of construction features, um, what do these things go? Yeah, so it's uh, it's just a typical glass. We don't mm -hmm. use. Um, it's not like a. Um, like a pop out of the park. Yeah, pot. yeah, it's typical traditional glass surfboard. Nice and flex characteristics, good yeah, crossover yeah. durability. Yeah, the, um, it's got this, you can see it's got the wooden stringer. Um, so that kind of takes away a little bit of the flex, but that's where you're going to get all your durability. Um, yeah. Because, yeah, kite boards, I mean, when we're kiting, we're kind of bumping over chop, and that's really where you're just beating, the beating board, your heels in the board. Yeah. And, yeah, so. Mm -hmm. um, you know, right under the strap, you've got these kind of wooden stringers that are really trying to help um, keep the board from yeah. getting packed, you know, foot foot indented. So, cool. Um, yeah, I ride them strap, strapless. Uh, they got uh, leash, uh, leash attachments. Um, so, big waves with a reef on the inside, you can put the leash on. Yeah. Um, we've got um, two different fin options to buy. Oh, really? Um, okay. One, one of the fins are just kind of a more plastic, traditional, cheaper fin, and then we also have um, FCS2 accelerators that are carbon fiber okay. that are an option. So. Cool. So that's the surfboard lineup. Yep. So that's surfboards. Moving into twin tips, um, starting with the Fusion, that's kind of our all-around um, free ride board. A little bit softer flex um, and just, you know, a little bit smoother for, for the free riders. Uh, Pretty much kind of the same uh, construction that they've been doing the last couple of years with um, just a little bit different in the channels. It's got this raised um, middle section with a double channel going towards the rail. Um, got a couple um, the size ranges pretty much go from a 133 up to a 144 uh, or actually all the way up to a 152. So that's going to be um, our largest uh, core production board mm -hmm. is going to be the Fusion. And then um, moving over to the alternative, which is the Choice. The Choice is your more freestyle oriented um, load and pop uh, and just um, more high performance board. So you're going to need a lot more stiffness and uh, the channeling is a little bit deeper, a little more complex. Um, and it's more Rocker. for the rider. Yeah, a little more rocker, a little more stiffness, so it's more for the rider that is, you know, What's trying right? to go big, if you're trying to jump big, if you're trying to land hard, um, you can do uh, you can do boots or straps. Um, it has um, 
Because Core does a six and a half inch spread on their straps, but most wakeboard boots are a six inch. Mm -hmm. So that's why I've got the, the two options. So gotcha. you can go boots or straps mm -hmm. on this guy. Um, so that's a good option. This year, we got the 144. Uh, we didn't have this size before. Um, so it's um, probably a really good call for anyone, you know, 180 to 190 or plus mm -hmm. pounds that want to still be able to do freestyle but have a board that's big enough to, you know, get them planing without too much uh, kite power. So. Yeah. What size do you ride? Um, so I ride, I would ride the one, I would ride in straps, I usually will stay on like a 141. Mm -hmm. uh, boots for sure, I would go up to the 144. Yeah. Um, and in fact, I actually use the bolt. So the bolt is a very, oh, pretty okay. much, it's the exact same shape as the choice. It just has the slider base. Oh, okay. So that's going to give it, um, they give it a little more rocker and then the base gives it a little more stiffness. So it's a little, it's even stiffer. You've been doing even a little riding on this and Yeah, one. I've, been, I've been using this one all year on the sliders and still, it's got the Still P, looking good. Yeah, it's got P-Tex base, which is pretty much like a snowboard base. Um, so um, I'm pretty much like, I'm just getting little, little scratches and it's not really anything too drastic. And even if I did end up getting a core shot, they um, come with a P-Tex stick and you just all right. light it on fire, fill the, fill the hole. Shave it off with a razor and just like you're on the water in five minutes. So oh, cool. Um, it's definitely. I know. Also, this year I actually started using wax for oh, really? rails and stuff. So I've actually waxed this. You can kind of see the wax residue on it, mm -hmm. and it just similar to a snowboard. It really kind of grabs that wax and like really. I mean, I've been using it for a month, and there's the wax is still on there. So mm -hmm. it's it's really. Um, it was a game changer for me starting to use wax. It was really okay. smooth, smooth out the yeah, sliders. Clean. Um, especially when the slider is you know dry in some spots and wet in mm -hmm. others, the wax really helps you kind of mm -hmm. maneuver that a little better. Just got to make sure you don't get a bunch of sand on it. <laughs> oh right. Um, and so there's a whole other line of boards, right? That is um, associated with Core, right? Which is the yep, the, the carved. Car. Yep. Which so is his, yep his tech. Uh, um, yep. Has the uh, the handmade carved boards made in Fairmont, Germany, in the headquarter office. Mm -hmm. um, every board is made by hand. The Imperator series is um, kind of an already designed model, so they they're just producing mm -hmm. these. They're producing it over and over compared to um, custom order. Of course, you can always custom order yours. Um, you can get them in any color. So we've got like different top sheets, you can pretty much customize anything. If you want a different concave, if you want a different size, if you want a different rocker, everything's customizable. Uh, you just It's just kind of like an add-on. Because that's that's kind of where Carve started, right? It was a custom exactly. you know, Carved, design house. Exactly. Carve yeah. kind of started as, you know, the, the, the garage board shop style right. thing. And, you know, it's, once he was doing good, that's when they started making, they actually the, had a carved kite. For, right. for a year or so yeah. before they actually rebranded it to Core. So, yeah. Um, yeah. And it's carved, kind of retained that kind carved of... Carved is the OG right. uh, grassroots of, of the uh, Core brand. So, yep. Cool. Um, yeah, you can pretty much... Um, Goes all the way up to 157 on the uh, on the standard, but again, it's all custom, so you can pretty much get whatever you want. Um, straps re really sick. Has these like snowboard buckles on it. You can just kind of pop out, in and out. So, so that'll just click. So you kind of jam a little bit. We'll cut to this. Yeah. <laughs> this is a little yeah, bit. On it. So yeah, got got adjustment on both sides. Um, you can kind of center this thing wherever you need it for large scale adjustments, yeah. and then you can use this kind yeah, of yeah, exactly. So you kind of you'll ratchet. set you'll set this one. This one's kind of like set and forget. And then over here, you got your ratchet. You pretty much just throw in and just you can just kind of snap yourself in. Nice, so, nice and quick. And yeah, I mean these boards. Yeah, some in of terms the of weight, yeah, yeah weight wise, you can't really beat this. Can't really beat it and. Uh, Car Carved uses kind of their own patented carbon fiber actually, they came up with their own, um, it's called Carton Carbon. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of a, a hex, or not a hex weave, but a diagonal weave you can kind of see. Yeah, right. And um, that just kind of um, 
helps with um, flex. So it's one of the first kind of carbon fibers that they actually get a fair amount of flex mm -hmm. and it's not um, not quite as stiff it's not as known like for, what right? traditional like yeah. back in the day when carbon fireboards were coming out it was a, a puck you yeah know? so right. um, good innovation there on the uh, on the flexible carbon and um, yeah pretty much everyone that's demoed one is falling in love with it it's just you can kind of see on the edge here this edge is a, is pretty unique has this kind of like rounded but then a step off mm -hmm. and it just everyone just kind of really loves the way that feels it's really smooth um, and yeah the board's kind of nice nice long kind of has a flatter rocker than than the choice mm -hmm. and stuff so it's um like the rail, it's really efficient going efficient, up wind. Free ride, cruising, really efficient, yeah. exactly. Um, we also have another carved board that we don't have here though, and it's custom order only. It's called the Tantrum. Okay. And that one's gonna be a little more for a freestyle, stiffer, more rocker okay. type thing, but again, fully customizable. They don't actually like produce them before right. you order it. They're they're made, made to order. order. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So cool. Um, so if uh, if someone's looking for more information on the the core line of boards, where might they go to find more yep. information on sizing? Yep. So yeah, everything you need to know is on the core website, corekites.com. And then for carved, where, um, do, where do you go? Carved is going to be carvedcustoms.com. Okay. Yep. Cool. Well, thanks, Eric. Appreciate it. No worries.